Kalulu, the hare, being a strict vegetarian, liked to grow his own vegetables. He planted rows and rows of cabbages, carrots, lettuce, turnips, and other juicy vegetables and tended to them regularly. He was so agile and hardworking that he had a regular supply of different kinds of fresh vegetables all the year round. Indeed, because of this, other animals envied him. Once, while he was preparing his garden to plant some pumpkins, a big elephant towering over the garden fence happened to pass by. He became curious to know what Kalulu was doing. Being a pure vegetarian himself, his mouth began to water at the sight of the ripe, juicy maize cobs that were swinging gracefully in the wind. Controlling his greed, he just looked over the fence and greeted Kalulu. Good afternoon, brother Kalulu, he said, smiling. Busy as usual, I presume? Kalulu returned the friendly greeting as he continued with the work. This is pumpkin season, you know, he said cheerfully. So I am planting pumpkins before it gets too late. I see, said the elephant. I am very fond of pumpkins myself. Could you possibly help plant some in my garden too? He asked very innocently. Kalulu was very hardworking, but he was also clever not to waste his time and energy on lazy people. He did not want to fall into the elephant's clever trap. I'm rather too busy, as you see, brother. He excused himself politely. But I can lend you my hoe and some seeds. You can plant them in your garden. Pumpkins grow like wild nettle, you see, so you don't have to attend to them much. Then he gave the hoe and some seeds to the elephant. As you all know, the elephant is a bulky animal. Whenever he does a little work, he becomes too tired and hot. This particular elephant had in addition trouble with his blood pressure and suffered from acute palpitation when he exerted himself. Naturally, he dug a few careless holes in his garden, poured the seeds, covered them with untilled soil, threw the hole in a corner and went to bed, panting violently for breath. As days went by, Kalulu's garden grew rich with yellow flowers from the pumpkin plants. Here and there, tiny pumpkins made their appearance among the lush green foliage, while most of the seeds in the elephant's garden died of overcrowding. Those few that managed to grow looked measly and weak. No one could tell whether they would survive to bear fruit at all. The elephant grew more and more greedy and jealous but Kalulu looked carefree and happy. Soon, there were several big fat pumpkins in Kalulu's garden. As it was time to harvest them and store them, Kalulu planned to do the job the following day. He got up early the next morning and went to his garden. But lo and behold, not a single pumpkin was left on any plant. He was shocked beyond words. Kalulu knew that it could be none other than the greedy old elephant who had stolen his precious pumpkins. Being far too clever, Kalulu did not make any fuss. On the other hand, he decided to teach the old thief a severe lesson. 